respect for self and respect for others. And I think more so than anything is lack of respect for self because of lack of knowledge for self. And I can go on and on about that. Like I said, I think it's a breakdown in the home. Right. And it's, it, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, everybody that's listening, if you're a parent, be a better parent. Not to say that you're a bad one because I don't know you. But if you, you know what I'm saying, we need better parenting and you know, if you're a big brother, big sister, or uncle, or whatever you are, you know what I'm saying, just set a good example. You know, and no one is perfect. No one is perfect. But, you know, it's a breakdown in the family. It starts in the home. Like, that's how somebody will be able to feel like they could punch you in the mouth if you correct them because, you know, it ain't nobody at home saying that it's not okay to do that. Our high school African American male and one day he dropped out of high school and he suggestions Okay, so the question was, what, why is, why are our young African American men dropping out of high school, and what can we do to bring about that change, to encourage them to stay in school? Okay. I, I think, I think, I mean, <clears throat> the number one, the number one issue for one is lack of direction. I think that's the biggest problem. Um, and with that lack of direction, how do you fix it? I mean, you definitely have to bring people, you know, like, I mean, the black man has to play their role, first of all. The black man needs to step up. So young black, so what they turn to is drugs, what they turn to is, you know, trying to pimp, for real, believe it or not, trying to pimp girls. What they turn to is, you know, all kind of negative things that end up either getting them locked up or, as we all know, killed or whatever. So, I mean, I just think that there needs to be more positive outlets for young African American men. And I really do think that we have the power. Being a young black man myself is nothing that we face that we can't conquer. Um, but I, I definitely think that the, the black man needs to step up and be a man and spend time with the young men. Um, and that will help us a lot more than what we might understand. Well, thank you, uh, Carla. Thank you, Caller, for calling all the way from Mississippi. We appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Caller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. No problem. From Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah. From Mississippi. Arizona. My people love me down in the Sip. What it do, Mississippi? Let me let me hear from you. That's right. Call 301 562 6992 or 1 866 from the coast. That's a very good question. Very good question. So, John. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was very blessed, man. My mom exposed me to a lot when I was young. So, um, I mean, I just always growing up, you know, we had sports was the thing. Football, really, from my hometown. Shout out to Mars Point, Tooks Way, Coast Boy Rapping. But football was the thing. Everything was about football. And we had some great athletes, you know what I'm saying? But all you would know was they graduate, go to college, and a semester later they either arrested or they back at home selling dope or, you know what I'm saying? And it, it never seemed like it was no success coming from, you know what I'm saying, coming from where I came from. And you would see all these people on TV living up life, having a good time. And it's like, them people on TV ain't no different from me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't Diddy ain't no different from me. You know what I'm saying? And we, you have the foundation, but it's just thinking outside that right. box. If I ain't never go to Disney World and go to Atlanta and go out least when I was five, six, seven years old, mm -hmm. I probably never would have thought about doing it when I was 20 years old. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, bro. And my inspiration just came from wanting to be great, man. You know what I'm saying? And not settling for less and not settling for crumbs. You know, just wanting to do do better, want more, and understanding that it's not going to be given to me. That's you know true. what I'm saying? And, you know, I appreciate you asking that question, but... My journey is just now beginning, I'm gonna be like, still got a long way to go. Right. So, yeah. All right. Well, so I'm trying to figure out when did the roles get reversed? When did, you know, adults start becoming scared of kids? I don't know. I got a question right here. What's up? It might switch it up a little bit, but somebody tell me, when did it become cool to be dumb? Like why kids oh, like to be? I was just, oh, I got a D, I got an F. Like, oh yeah, like, like that's cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When did it become cool to be dumb, man? It's a, so you know what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, somebody and tell. It me. became cool to be a dummy when you know people stopped trying. Like, like you said, you in the house, right? And your mother, your mother's not there, your father's not there, or they don't care. So you know, 
it's cool. It's all right. I'm I'm straight, you know, because I got a D and I still can go outside. I still can yep. do this. I as still long can as do that. They, they weren't able, they, they didn't get that discipline to say that's wrong. They like the TVs right. in the room. So it's, yeah, cool, to, it's cool to be a, a, a mess up, a whatever, because yeah. I want to say the other word, right. but it's cool to be mm -hmm. a mess up and still be able to do everything because right. you don't have that discipline. And, that's true. And, and, and I hate to notice, like, I hate to notice older people, you know what I'm saying? Like that's 25, 30, 35, 40 oh, years 60. old. Right, 60 years old, however old, but it, it's sad that you didn't understand, you know what I'm saying, what you know when you get older. Right. And I said that to say, like a lot of people mess around in school and play around, but by the time they hit 30 years old and they see how tough life is, hard to get a job, you know what I'm saying, but when you was in high school, you thought it was cool to skip class and uh, go, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as kids, you try to translate that message and try to relate that's why I feel like it's our generation of people that's going to take, you know what I'm saying, to relate to the kids because we're not too old, but we, you know what I'm saying, we're young enough to relate. But like to try to translate the message to them to want to do good. It's not a bad thing to want to do good. So we're going to go ahead and collect some checks. It'll be about a minute, 30 seconds. We'll be right back right here on Can We Talk Radio.